Okay, so there we go. There's our compound, compound, our anti-corrosion compound on, as per instructions. We've roughed it up. Uh, and one thing I did want to point out, I just have to get the foot on the other side so I can put some pressure on it, is uh, the drilled holes going up lovely. Uh, so obviously tolerances and stuff on this is pretty good. Obviously with all the stainless steel uh, pieces, uh, the U-bolts, etc. Uh, everything looks pretty well made. So I'm pretty happy with it at this point. And, you know, obviously I can't say how happy I am about the fact that I've picked one up at this price, uh, which is basically brand new. So just one quick tip. When you're going around, um, get your sandpaper, because obviously you're going to, uh, when you get around to putting the compound on, you're going to just put it on and smear it on with your finger, which goes everywhere. Um, and doesn't like to come off. It's obviously fairly thick. So get all your elements, sand back all your elements, um, give them a wipe in, obviously to get all any uh, any dust off, and then go around uh, and then put your uh, your compound on your any corrosion compound. What I was doing was one at a time, but I was finding I was getting the compound on my hands and I was touching the sandpaper. The sandpaper was getting slippery, etc., etc. Vicious cycle. Um, so uh, go around, sand down your elements. Uh, once you sand down your elements, put the uh, once you've done them all, come back. Um, put, your, uh, put your compound on and then slip them all into place. There you go, up to putting some screws in now. Now, while we're at it, uh, the compound that you get, uh, there's plenty there. So don't be stingy with it. I was a little bit stingy to start with, uh, but then I went around and started putting on hoops, and there's still plenty there. Uh, so don't be stingy with your anti corrosion compounds. It's there to be used. What are you going to do with it otherwise? So uh, put plenty on, uh, smear it around, get stuck into it, enjoy it. Put it on your nipples, whatever you feel like you need to do, but uh, there's plenty there, so don't be shy with it. And there we go, she's finished. Um, but realistically, uh, even without any instructions, no more than probably an hour, uh, and that was because I couldn't find any sandpaper. And what I was actually missing was a couple of screws uh, from this section here. As I said, one element was already in. Um, I'm wondering whether the guy had actually got this, had put one element, or started to put one element together and then stopped, so... That's not on most league, sorry guys, um, because uh, I actually had a couple, you know, it may not have been their fault, they may have been in there, you put them in, took them out, uh, I had a couple of matching screws, so that was lucky, uh, and you can see there she's there, so she's a reasonable size, uh, it's only a six foot boom, but I don't know what the uh, the width uh, of those elements are, you see they get a bit of a hang already, I'm sure they droop down quite a bit, so that... Uh, Mast I showed you behind me is definitely have to come away from the house to be able to spin this. Uh, might even put it down the back of the yard here, but anyway. That's it. Look, real easy. No real pointers to give you, because it's that simple. If you can't put this together with instructions, even though I've heard the instructions are uh, not the greatest, if you can't put this together with instructions, uh, you probably shouldn't be doing a hobby that uses electricity. Uh, you'll probably stick with uh, something else. So, uh, something a bit safer. Uh, something that wears a helmet, that requires a helmet, possibly. At this point, um, these uh, these outside elements are in, uh, but I have not put a screw in. I've realised that uh, the reason that these aren't don't have a screw in them uh, is because this is how you're going to adjust for SWR and how you're going to tune the antenna. So if they had holes in them, uh, you wouldn't be able to make the adjustment. It'd be at one point you wouldn't be able to, to tune the antenna before you put it up. Uh, so I'm about to stick up a mast. I'm not going to bother trying to tune it uh, down here on these. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is stick it up on, on a mast uh, and we'll tune it up there. We are going to use an analyzer. Um, I know they do recommend to use RF uh, and, and use the, you know, the SWR meter on the radio, but uh, yeah, let's be realistic how, uh, how accurate are those. So we're going to, but I have also read on a ham that uh, guys have tuned these with uh, an analyzer uh, and when they've actually put it up in the air and gone and put RF through it it's been pretty accurate so uh, we're going to go with that. One thing I don't have obviously is because the manual and somebody did say follow the manual strictly in relation to making a ballon for this. Um, now the problem is I don't have them and I can't. Uh, I have seen people just sort of winding an air ballon um, but I'm not sure, gonna, so I'm going to have to see if I can get some instructions from that online somehow. Because um, I don't have a one-to-one -one or anything that I want to, so I am going to have a look and see if I can find some instructions to see what they say. Because depending on, apparently, 
uh, how you do the ballon, it can reduce the uh, the resonant frequency. So here goes, we're about to try and put it up on the mast, you'll see how light it is, how easy it is to maneuver one foot. One thing I must say, these little blocks are a pain in the ass. Uh, so be it. I was saying a little bit earlier that I was wondering why I was missing a couple of screws. Uh, and then I figured that the previous owner had put it together and taken the screws out, whatever. I did know, however, and then the little packet for the driven elements, um, I actually had some screws in that, uh, and obviously some nuts, etc. And I was wondering how that worked. Uh, I was just about to come and sort of figure out how I was going to uh, feed this, etc. Uh, and I realised that I just put it up. I was thinking, ah, oh, just going to plug some coax into it and you know, put the the, the uh, analyzer on it, and you know, all will be good. Um, but no, that's not the case. So I'm, I might make up a pigtail, just something easily to, to plug the tuner into, uh, the analyzer into. But what I've realised is that these are the other two for this end. I need to take out my replacement ones, as you can see, they're not perfect matches, but they did. Uh, take them out and uh, replace it uh, with these. So.